because I love this print. I'm obsessed with florals, as you guys know. Love it, love it, love it. I am obsessed. Ciao beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. Just want to say a massive big thank you to um, the new subscribers that recently joined the channel. And then uh, there are actually a few guys as well, which um, it's nice because um, you don't get a lot of male crafters around. So um, yeah, thank you guys to um, to join my channel. Um, right, today uh, I just want to show you the XXXXX <laughs> large cards that I am altering. Uh, I've done several videos individually, but then I thought the process is pretty much um, very simple. And <clears throat> sometimes there's not a lot of detail because I want to keep the cards quite, um, the, it's quite not like easy for you to identify the actual card. Um, so I stopped doing individual videos, but I thought I have completed the uh, all the cards with the hearts and I have started the diamonds as well. Um, so I will show them once I finished. Um, I love these cards. So they are basically huge. So this is an A4. They are slightly smaller than A4, which should be, I think an international size in inches should be eight by 11. Uh, yeah, eight by Oh, yes, I prepared myself very well. 8 by 11. Um, they're huge. I bought this from Amazon and it's so fun because, I mean, it's twice the size of my hand. Um, so really, really fun. Um, so let me show them and we can have some fun together. So this is the Ace of Heart and I've just used this gorgeous um, napkin on the background with some blue uh, ink. I kept it this very 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 simple this is one of my favorite we've got the two of hearts which is more like an animal print the three of hearts so on here I, I don't really know what you're gonna see but the background uh, there is some jelly print uh, in pink and green then I layered with the napkin and then this um, this is a um, a printable with the roses and I kept quite, um, I wanted to be quite romantic, uh, quite vintagey, not too shabby, but that's the final look. And as you can see, there are a lot of, um, what do you call them, things from the napkins. I'm not too fast and I think it's actually giving that extra layers of detail. This is the fourth. So again, the background is a napkin and then I have used those two lovely fairies from the um, the Antiquarian Stickers book. Then we added some paper hearts and some gems. I think it's, um, it's quite nice and I like the, the theme of the fairy with the flowers. This is another one of my favourite. I have done a... Um, a separate video using those birds um, and I, I think I give it away on my Friday's newsletter so this should be available for you guys to download on my Facebook group if you look at the file list I'm sure it's called birds or bluebirds something like that so yeah you guys can download those again uh, there is a napkin I distressed it with some brown ink and then I added these lovely birds really really like it this is more like a wintry so we got uh, again as a napkin and then i use some silver flakes just again to give and um, in fact you know you can see on the picture actually they're shiny yeah very very shiny seven we got some um i use some splatter with the um with some acrylic paint and then decoupage it with some, um, I'm not sure if it's a napkin or if it's a tissue paper, either way. And then I put some butterflies. Number eight, we've got, um, again, the napkin on the background. And then I've used the this mosaic tiles from uh, Creative Fabrica. 
just to give it that extra layers and again i'm all about the different textures that you see on the projects so so you've got some matte some glitter i think it works really well number nine now it's a bit frustrating because you oh yeah you probably see so what i did i used um a black little uh, brush to create the lines then i used a napkin and then i don't know if you can see but i have used some yellow and um, blue like a baby blue ink uh, just to color at the background number 10 i left it quite simple because i love this print i'm obsessed with florals as you guys know love it love it love it i am obsessed this is probably my ultimate favorite out of this collection this series that jack so again we've got a, a colored background napkin and more butterflies on top and i distress with some blue ink so she looks like that the uh, queen of hearts of course i have to use the uh, alice in wonderland theme uh, i think they from stamperia like a pop-up 3d pop-up die cuts and then i literally colored uh, the black with the uh, sharpie and then use some real um, playing card the actual right size and then some butterflies and little tea set and then she's the queen of hearts and then last is the king so very simple i uh, used um, some jelly print background with some green and uh, not sure you can see it's probably here it's like a baby pink and green um and then i put a napkin and then i've gone again with the red sharpie to enhance the hearts so i love them so what do you guys think i absolutely enjoy doing this because it's so um it's kind of therapeutic when you kind of think what you can change and alter those cards so i'm going to keep them I'm not sure how I'm going to store them because they're quite bulky. I mean, I got, if you think about it, I should have four of those. So they will probably come out really, really chunky. Um, so I am excited. Right, guys, I hope I give you some ideas um, just to start altering your cards. I mean, you don't have to get these huge ones. I bought this from Amazon a while ago. They're available. If you look on your like, gift shops, same time I saw them, um, they sell this big, big, big... Um, big cards so yeah just have some fun um it's very very it's very very um fun and creative right guys i'm gonna go i hope you like this video if you did please give me a usual thumbs up and if you're not ready please join my facebook group when um it's a very interacting community when you guys share your projects i share mine you get freebies every fridays it's a very interactive community i'll see you over there Right guys, I'm going to go have a wonderful day and until next time, stay safe and well.